everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and last night on our main site, GhostbustersNews.com, we reported about how Peyton and Eli Manning, along with Jerome Bettis, garnered the attention of those at the campus of Notre Dame, being seen wearing Ghostbuster uniforms while filming upcoming episodes of their popular ESPN Plus shows, Eli's Places and Peyton's Places. Now when I did that post last night, we decided not to make a video of it here on the YouTube channel, because really, outside of a couple photos, we didn't have any information. But since that time, a lot has come to light, including this photo here that Eli Manning posted to his Twitter page, showing Eli, Peyton, and Jerome all standing in front of a replica Ecto-1. With a simple caption, I'll explain later. Now, in our initial write-up, we reported that filming was for ESPN's Monday Night Football with Peyton and Eli. However, since that time, we now have a source on the inside that has confirmed once again it was for Eli's places and Peyton's places, which for those that don't know, air on the ESPN Plus streaming service. Also, our source provided a great deal of additional information on the collaboration, which was done in partnership with Ghost Corps, with filming taking place this past Wednesday and Thursday at the Notre Dame Stadium, Washington Hall, and various points on campus. Now, from what we've been told, and as expected, the props used in the shoot were a pretty big undertaking, with 19 in total being molded, cast, and assembled over three weeks. This included two hero ghost traps with pedals, two smoking stunt ghost traps with pedals, two pairs of ecto goggles, four stunt proton packs, three semi-hero neutrono wands, and one hero neutrono wand, all of which were constructed in Ohio by Ghostbusters fan and prop builder, Rhett J. Martin. Now, speaking of Ohio, as I've already mentioned, the Ecto-1 used was a replica known as the Ecto-Ohio, and the Ecto-Ohio can typically be seen at events alongside the real Ohio Ghostbusters. Now, for the Ghostbuster prop builders out there, you're likely curious about the proton packs used, which we can confirm were made using the incredible Max Factory Legacy shells. And as someone who has a couple of Max Factory proton pack pieces in his collection, including a shell, let me just say the quality is unmatched. They do amazing work. Highly recommended. Now, as I assumed in the write-up over on Ghostbusters News yesterday, we can now confirm what was filmed will air this coming October, no doubt serving as a perfect Halloween treat for both Ghostbusters and football fans. Now, of course, keep checking back to GhostbustersNews.com as well as Ghostbusters News here on YouTube as the story develops. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube, bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in the description, and I'll see everybody right back here next time.